What's up, guys, and welcome back to Denison. The business is thriving, and today we make our dreams come true. I'm feeling pretty confident in the business. I'm going to show that confidence by continuing to go back to the warehouse. We're going to go buy some more items, and we're going to bring them in. I think electronics are, are going to be the way to go. We've got a ton of, of people in there. I'm so excited. I'm just running into everything I can find. I'm coming for you, too. I'm gonna get that bad boy, $7,000. We, ah, I can't wait to ball out. We're gonna go into the car dealership. We're gonna purchase a car and hopefully gonna be able to buy the house that's available. I'm not leaving this episode until we don't have a rental and we've got an actual house. Five Yankee Road. Escape the mundane city life and step into the wild unknown with this rural hideaway. Exterior boasts a charmingly weathered wood facade and the dirt driveway is an off-road adventure in itself. The interior is cozily redesigned with bathrooms that feature the latest in vintage plumbing fixtures. Nature awaits you at 5 Yankee Roads. 25K, one bed, one bath, 700 square feet, no garage. I mean, 25K in this economy is, is really not that bad. So let's buy some more electronics here. Can we buy one of everything? Are we going to have enough money? I think we are, just barely. $3,000, check out. Beautiful! Next round of... Uh, product coming right up and hopefully we're actually making sales we made two thousand dollars so far today and got in a car accident speaking of car accidents man i'm so happy so relieved so some of you guys may have seen it on twitter at this point it's been like almost two years ago but there was one time when i was in saint pete i went over there for i think i was watching like the usa soccer game when it was the world cup or something like that i forget what it was for but i met a friend over there we we watched the games whatever had a good time and then when i was leaving there was a guy that was in front of me in a, a tesla a brand new tesla model y and uh there was it was a t intersection i was behind him we were both in the turn lane he was turning left the light turned green he went i went he slowed down to a stop in the middle of the intersection like dead stop I dead stop behind him. I'm like, what in the world is going on here? He throws it in reverse and aggressively backs up. I try to get out of the way. I turn the wheel all the way right, gas the Jeep. He ends up reversing into my left rear tire. So the driver's side left rear tire. There's no way this could ever be my fault with the way that happened unless I was like, you know, drifting into him. So anyway, I, I, you know, we exchange information. I should have had a police report, but he kind of like, he was a little bit shifty and it turns out that he's an attorney and I, he, he was doing this on purpose, but he, he left the scene really, really quickly before I could get the cops there. I called the St. Pete police department. They're like, oh, well, if he's not there, there's nothing we can do. But then like a month later, my insurance company gets, um, you know, kind of a litigation against me from his, his law firm that he works at. And uh, he was claiming that he had like, multiple bulge discs in his back and neck and he's an eggshell case he had previous injuries from other accidents back in the day and like this is one of those things where like eggshells like it takes only a small little hit to to re-aggravate things and and do a lot of damage and ultimately he was suing for like hundreds of thousands of dollars and it was ridiculous but it turns out i had started recording on my phone and i had him on video saying yeah, I can't believe I hit you. I don't know how I ran into you. I don't know how I saw you and things like that. And they just came back today. This is a really long story. I'm sorry. They just came back today and said that they are 100% siding with me. I guess he submitted his Tesla footage too, which was stupid because it's going to show that he was at fault. And um, they said that they're going to re-offer him a very low payout amount just to get rid of him, but that they weren't going to be giving him the hundreds of grand that he was claiming. So long story there probably not the most interesting story, but it just happened today. I feel so good about it. Anyway, I feel good about this. $5,800 already. We are setting records and it is only 1 10 PM. My goodness, baby. We're killing it. I think this calls for one. Uh, this calls for two things. Number one, I'm having myself a beer, baby. Go ahead and throw it back. It's crazy to think that just a couple days ago, we were doing shifts in the pizza spot making 400 bucks a shift which is pretty good in the grand scheme of things that's still a very very solid uh salary or you know income that we were earning there but uh things things have really escalated on to part two I'll treat myself with a microwave meal don't ever forget where you came from baby let me i mean we already have one in the fridge i guess we probably should heat that up a little bit i'm gonna still drink tap water out of the sink I'm gonna eat my microwave meals and they take ju taste just as delicious as they always did. I'm gonna take a shower. We're gonna use the restroom. 
And I say we just sleep this off. I don't want to wait. Let's let's just go until the end of the day. I mean, I guess we're not quite going to make it past midnight here. We're going to have to take a couple of uh, of sleeps, but uh, my goodness, man. We we made some money today. I'm I'm feeling good. We might even, I mean, depending on our ratings, we're at a 99. Plenty of merchandise and reasonable prices. I found one to we made we made $15,000. 15k and we sold everything all right we we do not have time to uh, to waste we struck gold we got to make sure we take advantage of it i'm going straight back to the warehouse and we're, we're bringing even more product back i can't believe we made this much money is that for real like we we actually made 15k we, oh i almost caught a manslaughter do that that would have just well, I guess it would have been manslaughter. We were just distracted driving on our phone. Um, I was going to say it would be murder. I don't think so, though. But, um, yeah, 15K. We, we were messing around with little $4,000 days, excited about that in the last episode. And now we came out of the gate with 15K. We probably could have made a lot more if we had full inventory. So we, we got to make sure we get full inventory today. Let's see what we can do. The problem is, is I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to try to try to raise the prices even more and i just don't know if if that's the right call insufficient space we can oh we i forgot we can only get six things right so the 3600 there but yeah man just just discuss so so happy so relieved it's been eating at me for i mean years now obviously off and on would forget about it and then be re-reminded of it and stuff but like this dude, it, it just it I, I it makes me hate humanity. He reversed into me at like two miles an hour. It was clearly his fault. It was like maybe two thousand dollars worth of damage to his bumper, and he just like I mean to be searching for a hundred, two hundred thousand dollar payday out of that. It's just it's disgusting. The the U.S. and like the the lawsuits and things are just out of control. I can't even imagine, dude. I, I don't know. I, I, imagining if I didn't have, you know, insurance and Geico on my side, and if I was just like a, a somebody who, who got a, a lawsuit in the mail for that, like, I, I would have pooped my pants. A hundred percent. And it's it's sad that stuff like that happens every single day. It's just, it's it's outrageous. So, it feels really good. I can't wait for him to get served with the, the thing. I think the biggest thing for me is like, if you're the, a normal person, you're taking advantage of that. Like you're you're still a jerk and you're a terrible person for it. But the fact that he is an attorney himself and he's using that to his advantage, it just drives me nuts. We have double headphones, double smartwatch, double projector. We're gonna want to get double of everything else. Double clock, double speaker. And then that's kind of a wrap there. We can get double headphones again because we're gonna go through, we're gonna be making multiple trips today i mean i say we go for it let's go for 105 across the board here feels like the floodgates have have truly opened most of what's available in the game so far i feel like we're going to be able to access pretty quickly i say we go for it let's go to 105 on each of these i don't think that's too egregious of a, a price increase 30 to 35 was about a 16.6 percent increase 90 to 105 is about a 16 percent increase so I, I think we're in the right ballpark here i want to make sure we have an even amount of everything. So we got 40 headphones. We're gonna get 20 more alarm clocks, 20 more speakers, 20 more watches to be able to match that. And one final run here. We're gonna have at least 40 of every single item. Some we're gonna have more. We, we are down to $700 in our bank account. So we've got about 14,000 dollars in inventory but i i think we're gonna be okay i'm gonna do another advertising campaign here this this is gonna be a miraculous day i'm really excited we we're already open we're already making sales uh we actually haven't made any sales yet today technically we opened 20 minutes ago so maybe we don't have the updated numbers hopefully tech sales haven't just completely fallen off the map and we're actually gonna end up losing a ton of money here but i i think this should be a record breaker and like i said i think we're kind of to the point where the used car and the house that we can buy are very much attainable we have we have grinded to the top as of right now obviously with more updates there are going to be more expensive things there's going to be new businesses and dude i just i love i love the idea of grinding this i, I love the idea that we're probably eventually going to get out of the retail business and we could start a different style of business and we can you know hire employees and manage people so that we're not the one being a mule running all over the place so 
I mean, we could go play some blackjack. This is the dream, baby. We're making so much money, it doesn't even matter. I wish I could bet more than 25. Here we go. We got a 10 against a 4. 20 against a 4. We're standing. That's a dub. She busts 23. We'll take it. 15 against a 10. Unfortunately, we have to hit and we're going to bust. All right. So we're one on one. 16 against a four. You stand on that one. She busts. Beautiful. We're up one. 17 against an eight. Technically, I think you're supposed to hit that. Oh, it's a 717 with the ace. You do hit that. 14. Now we have to hit and we bust. She had a 12 there. She actually had a bust card. We could have stayed, but the book said hit. Uh, 19 against an 11. You stand on an... Oh, it was a 9-19. We actually could have hit that. Uh, 11. Can I, can I double? 21. Let's go, baby. Can you do something for me? We got double aces. Let me split. Against a 10. This sucks. 12. 18. We got to stay. She's got a 20. All right. I think we're even thus far. 18 against a 10. It was an 8-18. We probably should have hit that. I, it's kind of hard. It doesn't tell you 8 slash 18. I'm not really looking at the cards as much. Uh, 14 against a 7. I mean, we're going to have to hit that. 15 against a 7. 25. Man, this is unfortunate. All right. 14 against a 4. You stand against a 4. And she pulls a 21. All right. We're down now. 10 against a 5. 19 against a 5. We're standing there. We win. Come on, baby. Let's get a little run going. 19 against a 4. We better win that. Beautiful. 18 against a 3. I'm going to stand. Let's take it. She gets a 19. 14 against an 11. She's probably got 21 here. She's got a 19. All right, dude. We're just getting eaten alive. 19 against a 10. She's got a 20. I mean, it, she got a 21. Dude, this, this game is brutal. 19 against a 10. She's uh, 18. We won. All right, I'm going to play five more. 18 against a four. We're staying. She's going to bust. Beautiful. That's one. 13 against a five. We stay. Five's a bust card. She gets a 17. We're even. 15 against a 4. I think we stay. 4 is a bus card. She gets a 16. Doesn't she have to have to pull till 7? I don't know. All right. 8 against a 3. 14 against a 3. 3 is a bus card. She's she's just... It's just not happening. She's just not busting. 10 hit me. Free hit. 20. We win. Last one here. 14 against a 10. We got to hit that. 19 will stay there. She's got a 20. This You are ridiculous. I run this town. Do you know how much money I'm making? I'm going to I'm gonna buy you out. I'm going to buy this whole bar and I'm going to fire you. Or I should probably keep you because you're absolutely railing your customers. It's not even close. It, the, she absolutely kills us there, dude. All right. Looking like we're doing pretty well so far. $3,900 revenue today. It's only noon. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go cool down. We're, we're going to go take a rest and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. You lost like 100 bucks, Trev. You made 15 grand yesterday. It's, it's good. We're good. Just a mental reset. <sighs> yeah, we killed it. We, we had an $18,000 day. My goodness, man. That is absolutely amazing. We still have quite a bit in inventory, but honestly, I'm, I'm just going to grind today. We're going to start another advertising campaign. We should probably just keep the advertising campaigns running indefinitely. We're going to go re-up on... on all of the inventory that we possibly can. The fact that we still have so many, the alarm clocks and headphones are selling the quickest. That's interesting. But yeah, the fact that we have so much inventory, we, we have like another 25 grand in there. I think we could probably buy a house. But as I said, I want to buy the house and the car. I'm going to grind today and I'll see you guys on the other side. Well, a couple days have gone by and it's safe to say things went well. Time to head downstairs. We got a little bit of shopping to do. Check this out, baby. We have a store rating of 100 and look at our revenue. We had a $20,000 day, an $18,000 day, a $13,000 day. I think we didn't advertise this day. I think I forgot to advertise. And then this day, I forgot to advertise until halfway through. We had a $17,000 day there. So we don't have much inventory left at this point. I'm honestly, let's just close the store, confirm to close it for now, liquidate the inventory. And honestly, at least as of right now, we can go into our uh, retail rentals and I'm going to turn off auto renew because we just don't have anything else to sell at this point in time. We've got $51,000 and that is more than enough to purchase the two major things currently available to us. First things first, let's go get a Trans Am. Look both ways before we cross the street. Looks like we're good to go. Cutler used automobiles. I've been eyeing this thing in the window this entire time and we finally have enough money 
to be able to buy it. It's in black too with the gold accents on the wheels. How you doing, girl? Fulton Dynamo, 228 horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque. Got a five speed gearbox, top speed of 260 kilometers an hour, 75 liter fuel tank. So we can go in black, blue. Ooh, the blue is nice. Red, silver, burgundy, kind of a charcoal, orange. Ooh, the orange is nice too. Uh, oh, there's other vehicles. The Fulton Express. I didn't. You can get a Jeep for $20,000. Are you kidding me? I'm getting a blue Jeep. Come on, baby. Let's let's go. Vehicle is ready for pickup. I was going to get the sports car, but we got a, a Jeep. It's like totally a complete waste of money, but it's going to be fine. Shoot, dude. We actually might be in a little bit of trouble now. I, we're, it's ready for pickup where? Right here? Dude, okay. This thing is sick, but I feel like I kind of jumped the gun here, and I think we're going to have to go back to work. If we buy our house, we're going to be at basically $0, and we, we want to make sure that we have enough money to be able to you know con continue in the future go ahead and park this thing here dude this thing is sick though we honestly <sighs> i wonder what the cargo capacity on that van is if we could potentially be able to get more items and fewer trips i, I mean that might be the best case scenario so this has one cargo slot the van has 24 are you freaking kidding me dude it's ten thousand dollars i have to do it i'm getting just a straight up white van super sketchy looking dude this is a game changer hold on a second 24 slots all right so we're we're gonna go back we're gonna go to our retail rentals we're gonna pick this back up auto renew is back on Dude, I'm, I'm kind of upset. I have been grinding so hard, getting six packages at a time, and we could have been doing 24. You could do four, four, and the amount of time it takes four trips, which is basically like a day's worth of merchandise, we could have done in one. Are you kidding me? This should have been our purchase so long ago, dude. See, this is what I love, though. Like, th this game, it's just a beta, and there are so many opportunities to slowly build yourself and make your life more easy. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think we did five. We'll just do a few of each of these. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter all that much. I'm, I'm gonna do about $20,000 worth, 21,000, 20,400, that looks good to me. So if we go to our cart, we're gonna be able to purchase insufficient cargo space. Wait, this didn't really help us out that much, did it? Well, we got $12,000 worth. That's, I mean, that's better than what we had. Can we buy two more? It's still letting us, there, there's insufficient. Okay. So it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. Sorry to cut you off there, man. Nice, nice sports car. I kind of wanted to buy that, but I ended up spending $30,000 on other vehicles instead. But it's definitely going to save us a lot of time here. Go ahead and pull our retail back up. We're going to open the store back up. Start an advertising campaign when we can. Oh, okay. Yep, that's a trash bag. Start the advertising campaign. Store's not open. Why is the store not open? Open the store. No products in stock. Don't you worry. I can fix that up real quick. Look at this, dude. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. All right. Now we're going to be able to open the store back up. Start an advertising campaign. What time is it? It's 10 a.m. We're going to be able to make a ton of money today. I'm going to go back. Let's get this thing fully stocked. Whip this thing around too. Try not to hit the pedestrians. Don't want to catch a fine out here, but uh, yeah, things things are looking even better than I thought. I, I I wasted a lot of time without this thing. This is my new favorite vehicle. We genuinely should have bought this from pretty much the first episode. So I'm gonna come in. We're going to do three of those. I don't want to go down to zero dollars. If you go down to zero dollars, that's when you run into issues. It's weird. I think the rent of your apartment in the store charges before midnight and then all your money from the store sales comes in after midnight so then that's where they end up not being on auto renew and it, it just kind of messes with you a little bit so we're going to keep 700 dollars in the bank account not buying the house yet but give me like a couple seconds here we're going to have the perfect lineup baby look at this we got our little pickup oh sorry yep just going to Got to park her right on the curb right here. Hopefully you don't mind. We've got our van. We've got our little red pickup truck where it all started. Got to appreciate that. And then we've got our cruiser, baby. This is one of the newer Jeeps too. All right. Let's go in. Let's sleep this off and see what we make. I love how you can be in the shower and you can hear the microwave going off. Like I, the, the game still just impresses me so much with how realistic it is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, chow down on one of those. Let's throw these back in our fridge. 
We're going to use the restroom real quick. Man, it, it just... A Chinese, it always runs right through us. And uh, then we can sleep things off and we should make a bunch of money. Watch the money update, $17,000. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do that one more time. But again, our van's going to make it a lot easier. We actually have a ton of inventory left. It's always interesting to see how stuff changes. I'm going to do a, a maximum advertising campaign here. We're going to keep things rolling. But yeah, sometimes the speakers will sell a ton. I feel like the smartwatches sell a lot a lot of the time but it, it just kind of varies randomly so look at this man we, we have a whole fleet of vehicles out here i'm hoping this has an even bigger fuel tank it looks like it's at least comparable to the truck but the thing is we're going to use way less fuel because we're making fewer trips so much more efficient business here we should be able to buy that house in no time fifteen thousand dollars worth of inventory in one trip we could only do thirty six hundred worth in one trip in the past and i just realized something our prices we're not where they were. We need to make sure that we bring everything up to 105. Don't really like texting and, and manipulating our inventory while driving. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be able to make even more money here. That first day was kind of a, uh, you know, reopening party for the customers. They saved some money. But uh, yeah, look at this. This is incredible. So things have been going well. And when I say well, I mean really, really well. Look at this, man. We had a almost... $22,000 sales day here. We're kind of floating around that $20,000 mark. Our stock's going up, baby. We're looking good. We have $40,000 in our, our you know inventory right now, which we should put in our bank account, actually. That's kind of one of the things that I tend to forget to do because I want to be getting um, the, the what's... It, oh, it's all in our business account. Do we have to pay taxes on this? I don't think we pay any taxes or anything. I'm going to transfer this to our savings, and we're going to do all... 40,870 of that beautiful go ahead and transfer those funds so we can start earning interest on it but um yeah we've got a significant amount of inventory left here this is probably another 40,000 worth so we're looking good I think it's time let's go in we're gonna go to real estate the only property available to buy and the thing is like I'm, I'm feeling good I'm feeling like I'm I'm flush with cash right now this thing's 25K. Look at this. 385,000, 72,000, 820,000. I mean, we have money, but we really don't have that much. Like, we're, the, the grind is going to continue when we can. So, five Yankee Road, we purchased. Now, I don't know how to get there. How do I get there? What, what, what does that look like? It's a blue house with a white door along a, a dirt road, it looks like. Or is that a main road? You've got some trash off on the side, a wood deck brown trim okay we're gonna hop on our our little cruiser here and we're gonna try to go find the house we just purchased it is weird that there's no map in this game but i, I kind of enjoy it you know no no points of interest you gotta kind of try to figure things out for yourself now it's yankee road right those are just caution signs i was gonna say do we see anything that says yankee road on this oh, is this it right here did we just we, i think we just found it we drove by this earlier and i thought i had seen it yeah this is this is it perfect all right I mean, humble beginnings, you know, just outside of town. Let me get our Jeep flipped around here. We're going to pull old girl in just like so. But um, it's, you know, it's not much, but it's ours. Five Yankee Road. We can interact with the door. We can go inside. It's 700 square feet. We've got a, a one bed, one bath. So we've got a little kitchen area. Fridge does not have anything in it. Here's our bedroom. We've got a closet in here. We've got this bathroom. If you want me to, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna christen the place, of course. If you want me to be honest, I think our condo, our apartment in the city is a lot more convenient. And for what is it, 75 bucks a day? I, I don't I don't think we can beat that. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I have loved this game so much, but unfortunately I think we've come to a temporary end. I don't think there's anything else we can do. We've checked everything out. I think we might have a couple other random things from Austin. We don't currently have anything right now. But um, we've done all you can do in this state of the game. I'm sure it's going to continue to be updated. I don't know when the actual release date is supposed to be. Technically, this is a beta. I don't know if our progress is going to carry over. It's been a grind, so I hope it does. But as of right now, I think this is a temporary goodbye. So thank you guys for the love and support on this series. It's been a ton of fun. I love these random simulators, man. This this is one of the best YouTube channels on the internet for me. I, I just like, I mean, obviously I'm biased because it's my own, but I just, I get to sit here, have fun and play stupid games and you guys enjoy it with me. So that's so cool. Thank you guys for watching. As this gets updated, we'll be sure to come back and I'll see you guys there.